Hey there coaches, my name is Clark with One Goal Sports and what I want to do is take a couple of minutes to walk you through how you need to uh, be storing your equipment away at the end of each practice. This may seem a bit elementary, but we've been uh, going through the fields and we see balls left out on the, on the uh, game field, practice fields, as well as equipment that's just loose. As you can see down here in this cage, there's a ball that's out of its bag. There's about three or four balls that are out of the bags. We're not drawstringing them back the way that we should. The way we should. Plus, I just want to show you how to properly store these practice penny bags um, in the waterproof bag. First things first is that your ball bag never belongs inside your yellow or clear waterproof bag. This is reserved only for your practice pennies and your practice cones. Secondly, at the end of each practice, you should be looking for about seven, no, no less than seven, and no more than eight practice balls uh, that you'll be putting back in your drawstring bag. It may be a blue one like this, or it may be a black one. Please look at the ball, make sure it has the correct number. If you're a four to seven year old coach, you're looking for a size three ball. If you're an eight to 12 year old coach, you're looking for a size four ball. If at the time your practice concludes, you're walking back to the cage, you see some extra balls out there, please just walk out there, take an extra few, few extra seconds, maybe a couple minutes, Help us clean up those balls, uh, bring them back here. Make sure that when you're bringing your ball back, your ball bags back, if you notice that you only have five or so balls in your bag, take just a couple of seconds, help us out. Make sure to go through the open up the, the appropriate bag, put in the extra balls to make sure that we're balancing these out. This is just a simple way that we're setting one another up for success when we get here so that we're not spending a lot of time trying to get all these balls together, figure out where our practice cones are and our practice pennies. Also, at the end of each practice, if you're an eight to 12 year old coach, you should have eight practice jerseys in your bag. No more than eight, no less than eight. You should find eight of these, um, as well as 10 of your circular cones in each bag. Once you've done that, it's just a simple process of pulling the drawstrings together, opening up your bag, waterproof bag, and dropping it in. If you're the last coach, it is your responsibility to make sure that this bag is sealed and sealed properly. Uh, I noticed over the past couple of Saturdays out at Northside, uh, the bags are just being thrown in there. If we get rain, this is an easy way for, these, for this equipment to mildew, stink, and nobody wants to wear stinky pennies. So it's a simple process. You just put it in the bag, fold the flap down, make sure that your tips are sticking out, and you roll it down three simple times. One, two, and three, and then you clamp it together. It's a watertight seal. You won't have any issues whatsoever with water getting in. Once that's done, all you have to do is drop it in the cage. It's the same process if you're a four to seven year old coach at Northside, there's only one practice uh, waterproof bag, but you have two of these bags. You guys need to make sure and check to find at the end of your practice that you have seven practice pennies and 10 cones in each of your bags. If you're the last coach there, you as well need to drop it in uh, in your waterproof bag, do a nice seal on it, clamp it up, and put it in here. Again, a huge thing that we find over the course of the season is that coaches kind of get a little lazy with this, and you don't want to draw string your bags. Um, I know that sometimes we have appointments and things that we want to get to, but what it does, it creates a little bit more time for those who are coming in the next night to do this because you've got loose balls everywhere. Once you've had your seven, no more, no less than seven, no more than eight balls in here, knock it down and then use your little drawstring clamp and seal it. You won't have any issues with the balls falling out. Again, if you see any loose balls in the cage, look at what number they are, put it in the appropriate bag. If you're at Bel Air, it's the same lock combination for both of those cages. Uh, make sure that you're putting, if you're a four to seven year old, make sure that you're putting all of your equipment in the cage that, that has a red sign for the four to seven year olds. If you're an eight to 12 year old, make sure all of your equipment size four balls and your practice jerseys and everything is going into the appropriate cage marked by a yellow cage sign on the top. Please help us do this. This will actually make, uh, make for a much better experience for the coaches who are coming in after us. Um, it'll probably reduce some of the emails that I get from coaches because the equipment's not properly stored away from the previous night. Jerseys are stinky. Uh, they're wet and the teams afterwards consequently cannot use them. You're going to be a big help to us. You're going to set each other up for success. We're looking forward to a great season. We'll see you soon.